In Delaware County, Haverford Township Police increased patrols at two locations tonight, including a high school football game. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo is live at Haverford Township Police Headquarters to tell us why. Matt? Just that's right. There was a very visible police presence at that football game tonight after a series of incidents that happened both in and around Haverford Township. Friday night lights. That's what Havertown's all about. Friday night lights at Haverford High School's football field looked a little different. Police confirming they increased their presence at the game between Haverford and Garnet Valley High Schools. There's a lot going on. The Switzers came to the game to support their daughter, who's in the band, and noticed more law enforcement. I think it's appropriate. I think it's unfortunate, but you know, it's the, it's the time, and I feel better with the you know increased security. We found some officers patrolling on bicycles, and you couldn't miss this police vehicle parked in front of the ticket gate. Police presence will hopefully. Keep Keep people on the good side of things. Haverford Police says the uptick in officers here isn't due to one specific incident, but a culmination of events, including the shooting death of a team football player in Roxborough on Tuesday, and a series of incidents involving a group of kids who have recently been attacking other kids at random in Havertown. Eyewitness News reported on this viral video earlier this week that shows nearly a dozen teens swarming a single victim and unleashing a a beating. And now, police announced on Friday, a 15 year old boy is facing charges, adding more of those involved will face consequences. Arrests are being made. Elena wisely organized a group of concerned parents who rallied for Peace Friday night outside the stadium where there was also a police presence. Our kids are not going to be terrorized, they won't be victims. You know, towns are safe when people care, and Haverford cares. And that group of concerned parents also tells us they basically patrolled some of the streets in this area themselves, making sure people got home safely after that football game. Reporting live in Haverford Township, Matt Petrillo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Matt, thank you.